So, I'm going to come on to Reality Fighters. It's our first augmented reality game for Vita. And I want to give you a glimpse of some exciting new technologies that are the future of augmented reality on Vita. We first showed these at TGS a few weeks ago. So Reality Fighters is a beat em up like no other. For the start, the gameplay takes place in our world. You can watch as the fighters tear up the environment, whether it's the kitchen, the living room, the garden, anywhere you want to fight. And with over 80 animations and 30 moves per fight style, Reality Fighters offer a deep and immersive fighting experience. But we wanted to do a lot more than just have a fighting experience in the real world. With Reality Fighters, you can use both front and rear cameras to capture you, your family, or your friends, and allow them to become the star of the show. And with over 400 costume pieces, you can be anything you want to be in Reality Fighters. I've noticed a few guys in here all dressed up, so this is the perfect game for you. So, whether you just want to wear shirt and trousers, or maybe a suit, you can do that. But if you want to be a proper martial artist, like the Muay Thai guy, or the soldier, you can be that too. Or perhaps some sort of robot from the future, or even Santa Claus. Whether you want to be a credible fighter, or something a little bit more tongue-in-cheek, Reality Fighters is the game for you, and I do not own a mankini. <laughs> So, we're going to play a video now with some unusual suspects. Let's take a look. So here we can see we scan two guys. We start by customising, putting a lot of hairstyles on. She looks very happy there. And then using front touch, we can adjust the body in real time. Make them fat or thin. Luckily for him, I've given him a great body. Now, like I said, we've got over 400 costume pieces. Whether you want to create full costumes or crazy mashups, the ch choice is totally yours. So I think we're going to settle here on a bunny rabbit and a robot body for Johnny. And with 15 fight stars in the game, we've got a wealth of options. Whether you want to be a true martial artist or maybe you want to stand out for the crowd, be a disco dancer, a wizard, or maybe a zombie. Selling on a ballerina bunny here and a boxing robot. But you can do much more than fight. You can pose your fighters and view them either in the real world or in the game world. You can add filters, take pictures, and send them to your favorite social networking site. And we've got two forms of augmented reality technology inside reality fighters. Here's a single market technology. It means you can view the action from any angle at 60 frames a second. Perfect for tabletop gameplay. But if you're out and about and on the move, you can use the gyroscope to place the fighters in the world to scale. But if you're on the bus or the train, you might not want to play in augmented reality. So we've got a bunch of stunning 360 degree photographic backdrops. Using the gyroscopes in the Vita, you can actually look around the world and place the fighters anywhere you want them to. As well as the preset backdrops, we allow you to take your own pictures. You can go online, share them with your friends. So now we're going to see a fight between Johnny and Ellie. Let's see who wins. So now, onto some exciting new developments in augmented reality. First, we've got Wide Area Augmented Reality, or WAR for short. So traditionally, AR games like Invisibles and iPad have only used single markers. But we can add to that experience now with WAR, which consists of up to six markers that the player can use to create a much larger gaming environment. Or depending on the game, you can introduce markers at different times to create new gameplay objects. And for us developers, it opens exciting new possibilities in for the types of games that we can create in augmented reality. Let's check this video out. So 
here you can see White House used to sing the lay off. As you can see, it looks awesome. But by using the multiple markers, we can turn our whole tabletop into a battle arena. We can scan in real life objects and put geometry around them, and let the gameplay objects interact with the real world objects. Put markers on different planes, allowing our characters to jump from the table to the ground. And smash his head in. I can adjust a racetrack in real time, create my own hills, bends, and chicanes. Invisibles let come down to do much more than just battle. This guy is owning our table in the Sony canteen. Or you can create an obstacle course for your virtual pet, move the objects in real time, and create your own emerging gameplay. And breakfast may never be the same again, unless you like sausages. <laughs> so our other augmented reality technology is a true markerless solution. And by using the Vita's processing power, we can create a markerless augmented reality by scanning in the everyday objects that you find either in your home or in the street. I'm going to show you a little video now. So here, the Vita's scanning in the natural feature points in the room, the wall, the ground, the table. Once we've scanned in enough points, we can set our augmented reality scene. Here's our, one of our apes from Ape Escape. You can see we can rotate around the character just like we can with a marker. This is a new breakthrough in augmented reality technology with the added benefit of being able to get further away from the action than before. Watch out for the trapdoor. So this outdoor scene shows a ton of apes at different scales from the camera. And this is the first time we've been able to do this with a true marvelous solution. But they're greedy boys. Here we go. And if you can remember from that far back to PlayStation 1, here's our famous PlayStation T-Rex. And also, by using the gyroscopes inside the theater, we can use this in conjunction with the markers and be able to move away from the ground points. And as you can see, we can look up and view the T-Rex in real time. Stunning.